So many questions remain now surrounding what happens next in this case. Our Todd Walker has been working on getting some answers, and Todd DA Glenn Funk wants to get started as soon as possible. Yeah, Rory, the earliest they could redo this trial is in about three months, but that really depends on everybody's schedules. No one thought that they'd have to schedule a redo of this marathon trial. Can't imagine anybody really and truly, if they were being honest, wants to go try this case again. It is not something anyone wants to do or ever thought they would have to do, but when Brandon Vandenberg and Corey Beatty walked out of jail, it was clear the Vanderbilt rape case was far from over. What happens next isn't for certain. To retry the case would mean the victim would have to retake the stand. But when you think about having to relive that again, yet in another trial, because of a technicality, it's unfathomable. So could it all be avoided? And then how about any thoughts of a possible plea deal for the two defendants? I expect this case to go to trial. And will this case have a new defendant? The jury foreman, Todd Easter, is accused of lying under oath, not revealing that he was a victim of sexual assault. He's the reason this trial has to start from scratch. Do you plan on bringing charges against Todd Easter? It's way too premature. We have not even discussed when to discuss okay. what, if anything, to do on that matter. District Attorney Glenn Funk says any arguments over evidence in the trial against Vandenberg and Beatty have already been resolved, so hopefully we won't be subject to a trial that drags out like last time. The trial obviously is pretty in-depth, and so it's going to take a little while to try. Uh, it should be a little bit shorter trial, but it'll still be a pretty lengthy trial. Are you ready to do this over again? Well, we're going to have to. All right, All right we're ready. You, sir. Okay. And so how about seating an impartial jury? Obviously, that was the issue with this last trial, but this was a highly publicized case, and so it's high, uh, highly possible and highly likely that they'd have to bring in jurors from out of town, and that would make it so much more expensive to do this over again because they'd have to pay to feed and house those jurors for a week or two-week-long trial.